Hello friends, my name is Resu Sarma and I am going to explain you the stress analysis in crane hook. Now, see, this is the diagram of our crane hook. We basically have a crane hook of this type used for lifting the load. See, I am going to explain all the terminologies here only. This is our load line on which a load W is acting. This point O is our center of curvature and the axis passing through we call axis of curvature. This dotted line is our centroidal axis. The cross section of this crane hook, the cross section of, a, of this crane hook is trapezoidal AA and BB this point is A this point is B and this C point is on the centroidal axis C in solving a crane hook problem you are required to find out all the dimensions mentioned here like you are required to find out what is D1 what is D2 what is E what is R it is quite easy not a difficult task this distance between BA means the distance between this parallel side and this parallel side this B, B and AA these both are parallel sides of a trapezium then the distance between these two is D which we divide into two parts D1 and D2 which we divide in two parts D1 and D2 such that this D is equal to D1 plus D2. This D1 is from A to C and this D2 is from C to B. Now what is this E? E is our eccentricity. E is our eccentricity. It is the distance between the load line and centroidal axis. Load line and centroidal axis. Then we have a radius of curvature R which is a distance between center of curvature or axis of curvature and centroidal axis next the cross section is explained here we have this side b1 and this side b2 this is our axis of curvature and uh, the distance of uh, cross section aa from the axis of curvature is r1 and the distance of bb cross section from the axis of curvature is r2 the, this R is the distance between axis of curvature and our centroidal axis. This is our neutral axis which is at a distance Y0. The uh, distance between centroidal axis and neutral axis is denoted by Y0. This is D, this is D1, this is D2. Now this is the uh, stress distribution. Now as I already uh, explained what is O, what is E. Now we will find out bending moment caused by load W about the centroidal point C. This is this comes out to be M is equal to minus of W into E. Minus of W into E. Uh, this bending moment decreases the curvature of the hook and is taken negative as per the sign conventions. The resultant stress at any point across the section is given by resultant stress is given by sigma r is equal to direct stress sigma d and the bending stress sigma m the direct stress is given by w by a and this bending stress is given by w into e divided by a into r into 1 plus r square by h square into y upon r plus y this bending stress we already find out in the winkler batch theory in the winkler batch theory analysis next it is to be noted that the vertical load W is tensile and hence the direct stress sigma D is equal to W by A will be tensile stress over the whole section. The bending moment produces tensile stress at inner surface A and compressive stress at outer surface BB. My dear students, for solving the problems of a crane hook, you are required to remember this formula sigma R, the resultant stress uh, as uh, this is our direct stress W by A and this is our bending stress which we already find out as we mentioned in our previous video lectures 
as we already mentioned it is a equation a as a equation a then you are required to as i already mentioned uh, you are required link radius in every problem of bending of curved bars this h square is our link radius for the trapezoidal cross section this y not is our distance of neutral axis from the center of the axis and it is given by minus of r h square upon r square plus h square for finding out this y not you required this h square here now the distance d1 of the centroidal axis from the side b1 is find out by d1 is equal to b1 plus twice of b2 upon b1 plus b2 into d by 3 basically this is the center of gravity of a trapezoidal cross section for finding out um, any numerical problem for solving any numerical problem you are required to remember link radius y not value and this center of gravity of a trapezoidal cross section basically i have given this numerical problem to you uh, after analyzing the diagram you can easily draw the diagram and solve this numerical easily uh, see in the first point we have location of neutral axis you can find out and the maximum minimum stress induced in the hook show the variation of these stresses in the horizontal section we can easily show change in above calculated stress if curvature is neglected we can easily solve this numerical problem uh, see uh, for solving any numerical problem uh, you are required with link radius because the cross section is trapezoidal uh, i have already mentioned you the formula for the trapezoidal cross section now the question arises why we have a trapezoidal cross section in crane hook uh, most of the time most of the time why we have uh, trapezoidal cross section so the answer to this question is that trapezoidal cross section is able to absorb more vertical load and deflection it is able to absorb and store more strain energy thereby ensuring safety of a 